Welcome to the experts portion of the show where we feature those three little words men find so hard to say. I don't know. Those are the words. And a special welcome to Harold. Well, thank you very much, Winston. I'm always happy to share the, the wisdom of my accumulated years. You know, you know, there's always a certain rites of passage of every young man. Shut up, Harold. <laughs> no, you know, no, that was wrong. I shouldn't have said that, and I'm sorry. I shouldn't, I am sorry. I apologize. I shouldn't have told you to shut up. Apology accepted. All right. Shall I continue? No. Okay. <laughs> Today's letter reads as follows. Dear experts, I work in an office next to someone with a body odor problem. Is there some way I can let him know about it without causing offense? Oh, no, just, just get up wind of the guy. I mean, that's what a breeze is for. <laughs> it's not really the adult way to handle the problem. Right? There's always a subtle, sensitive way to point out the problem and suggest solutions. Oftentimes, a gift would do this. Oh, sure, like, like on his birthday, you could give the guy a bath. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? You know what's better too. You know what's better too. You know what's better too. Oh. It's like at, like at Christmas. At Christmas, right? You can get him like an anonymous a secret Santa gift. You know, like like a secret Santa soap on a rope. <laughs> I oftentimes use the secret Santa approach to distribute my homemade fudge. That, that was, was you. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> you owe me a bottle of Kia Pectate. <laughs> you owe me a set of seat covers. Oh. Okay, you know what? Actually, actually, in retrospect, I think you gentlemen are right. You know, you should, what you should do is take the gentleman aside in private, you know, and then point out the problem where, you know, and give him time to, to find a solution. I think that's something we've all learned here today. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I think so, too. Uh, Winston, I wonder if I could speak to you in private after the show. <laughs> sure. Uncle Red, I'd like to speak to you in private after the show. 